Welcome back to the Spoonie Stitcher channel. I'm Shannon the Spoonie Stitcher. You're inside the stitchery and I'm so happy you're here today. Let's do a yarn review, shall we? So Hobie came out with a new yarn called Toucan. And yes, I was extremely tempted to actually make a toucan with this yarn. I still might, but anyway. Um, I got a bunch of colors if you want to see my yarn haul. I will link it somewhere up here. Um, you can see all the colors that I got, plus there will be a few new colors that I ordered after that yarn haul. What can I say? I like the colors. Anyway, um, we are going to do a in-depth review on this beautiful chenille yarn by Hobie. They didn't ask me to. They didn't pay me to. Nothing like that. This is all my own opinions and not sponsored in any way. I just wanted to give it a try. So this is a six super bulky yarn. Not sure I agree. Seems like a thick five, but we'll keep going. It's 100% polyester, 131 yards or 100 grams. If you're knitting with it, they recommend a six millimeter. And if you're crocheting, they recommend the seven. If you're new here, seven is my favorite hook. And um, you can wash it on cold do not dry it. Yeah. It's basically all the specs for that yarn. So I chose to make an amigurumi with it. Duh. <laughs> I wanted to see what it was like to make, you know, cute, fluffy little toys. Now, I also wanted to compare it to Premier Yarns Just Chenille and their Parfait Glitz. I wanted to see, you know, compare and contrast all the chenille yarns at some point, which we might do that this fall or this winter. I think that would be fun to do like, okay, the best of the best. Which one is the best chenille yarn? If you guys wanna see that, let me know down below. So um, we're gonna test this yarn and then let's see my thoughts. Oh, so this color that I'm using is 27. Um, if I remember, I will put the name of it somewhere on the screen. But the color is 27 if you are interested. So, normally I do my little chenille trick, but I am curious to see if it'll make a magic ring on its own. This is a four and a half, actually. Thought it was a five, but it's a four and a half. Just do six. Okay. Well, it slides nicely. Let's see. You close the circle gently. There we go. Start row two. I feel like I'm in the dark. Now I'm going to pull a little harder, 
I'm still going to be gentle because I'm gentle with any yarn. Okay. That looks good. It's sliding really, really well on the hook. I can see my stitches pretty well. I'm sorry, you guys, I keep going into the dark space over here. So that's looking really good. So what should we make? We have mint and brown. I had other colors, but honestly, they don't go with the mint, and I wanted to use the mint. <laughs> um, I don't know. Let's just keep increasing and see what, what sparks my fancy. So I'm just doing standard increases. So, you know, you start with 6, you build to 12, you go to 18, and now we're on 24. So if you want to do this with me, that's what I'm doing. Okay, for those of you who are not used to chenille yarn, if you start with a magic ring of six, you're going to get this little triangle dome thing. If you start with a magic ring of eight, you'll get the flat piece. But I wanted the little dome thing, so that's why I did it that way. And also to show you that that's what ha would happen. So when you use chenille yarn, it's best to use eight if you can. This is working really well though. It feels strong, it really does. It doesn't feel thin. It doesn't feel wispy. It feels like it's got some body to it, which is nice. Not as thick as a burnout blanket. I would say it's like using a strong version of Parfait Chunky from Premier. Okay, now I should have about 30 stitches. And I'm just going to go around and around for several rounds, and I'm not going to make you guys watch that, so I'll meet you back in a minute. And now I'm going to create the little, little floops, or whatever I call them. I don't know. So let's see. I'm going to slip stitch into here. Chain two. And double crochet into the next front loop. I'm going to mark the back loop that I didn't use right there. I'm not going to count that first one, so I'm going to do four. Okay. Now, single crochet into the next stitch. And repeat. Four double crochet in the next. Front loops only. This is not really a tutorial, but this is like, if you want to do what I'm doing, there you go. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Single crochet in the next. I don't want to make it perfect, so I'm going to do half doubles in this one. And I'm only going to do three. I might actually change it to three because three is just easier. Let's do the double crochets again. 
We'll do three this time. And change it up, make a half double on the last one. Ooh, look at that. If you figure out what I'm making, type it in the comments before this video is over. I'd love to know if anyone can guess. It'll get really obvious later, so make your guesses now. I'm literally just changing it up every time. No real rhyme or reason to this. Some have double crochet, some have mixed double and half double, some have single, half double, double. It just doesn't matter. I want it to look more random, less uniform, but it always ends up looking uniform. Every single time. No matter what I do. Let's add a treble just to try and make it look different. Okay. Now I'm going to work in the back loops and that will be a challenge. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, the bottom looks good, and we are going to do a fluff test. So here we go. Pulling on the end to see what comes off. Okay, not bad. Not much there. Here we go again. Oh, <laughs> it's in my way. Pulling, pulling. Not bad. So here I am just sewing the hole closed, very standard, seeing how the yarn responds to when I pull it and whatnot. And so far it's doing really well. I'm just gonna fasten that off here and push in the yarn ends a little bit. A couple of fuzzies, not bad. Now I am using the yarn as embroidery. So I'm making the little details with the brown yarn and I'm seeing how well, <laughs> there's a fuzzy, seeing how well that it responds to tugging and pulling and 
intense tightening and I think it's doing pretty well. Looks like it's doing well. I'm really pulling at it too. I mean, I want, I want those little dots to look good. Did you figure out what I'm making yet? <laughs> so, did you guess that it was a scoop of ice cream? So it's mint chocolate chip scoop of ice cream. And I might do something with this. It might not just be a little scoop of ice cream, but I haven't quite decided yet. So there are quite a few fuzzies if you use it to embroider with, <laughs> but actually crocheting with it and working with it and everything, I only had three little fuzzies. So I think it's a really well-made yarn. I pulled on it and it did not come undone. It did not break. Doesn't mean it won't. Doesn't mean it won't, but it didn't break. Um, I think the stitch definition is really good. Yeah, I think the stitch definition is good. The um, thickness of the yarn, I think, is a is strong enough to hold up and stand up with amigurumi, so I, I like that very much. Um, I, I like it a lot. I know it sheds a little bit, but not nearly as much as some of the other ones, like this one. <laughs> So how does it compare to Parfait Chunky? Well, I gotta say, this is not a good example because the Parfait Chunky Sparkle, I haven't had, or Glitz, I haven't had a lot of issues with. But the regular one just explodes with fluff everywhere. I, it gets all over me. But um, the Sparkle one, though, I haven't had that happen. So I think this one is stronger than that. Um... I love all the colors it comes in. It comes in how many colors? I'll write it up here. That's how many colors it comes in. And the price is pretty good on sale. Don't buy this kind of yarn when it's not on sale. Not exactly worth it. I don't think any of the chenille yarns, except for maybe the Dollar Tree, um, that are not on sale are worth the actual price that they think that they should charge for them. I don't buy any of the chenille yarns when they're not on sale. It's just not, not worth it to me. So if you can get the sale price for this yarn, it's very well priced. So um, I like this yarn a lot. I definitely will be using it for things. Might even see some tutorials on here where I use it. Don't know. But this was good. I would recommend this. I am not affiliated with Hobie in any way. I will link them down below if you would like to make your own. If you want to finish your little ice cream cone, because I stopped the tutorial, tutorial in the middle, the end of this video will have a slide of the last few steps I did. So if you want to make one yourself. Thank you so much for joining me today. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to the Yarn Zebra family. I would love to have you come back. Join the private Facebook group. It's really fun. They vote. They get bonus patterns. They get all kinds of fun extra things. And they get to know a little bit more about me. So if you were ever curious about what's going on in my life, eh, sometimes I post life stuff over there. So, you know, it's a fun group. It's a really fun group. We have chats, we have voting, they get bonus content. It's fun and it's free. Thank you so much for joining me today. Remember, life happens, yarn helps, and Spoonies can stitch it up too. Bye. Bye.